So real estate has been booming over the last couple of years. If you actually had a property and you held on to it, guaranteed right now you are making money or you could sell that property for more than you bought it because the market has been going up by 20 something percent in most areas every single year in the last couple of years. And prices don't seem to be stopping. They keep on going higher and higher. That might change as we see an increase in interest rates, an increase in the 10-year treasury yield, and potentially an increase in mortgage rates as well because they are highly correlated to the 10-year treasury yield now not everyone can invest in real estate because it does require a lot of capital up front you can't just go in with ten dollars in your pocket and say hey i want to buy this property what property are you going to buy you can't even buy the first block in monopoly for that kind of money but what you can do is you can invest in real estate investment trusts these are called REITs or reits i've heard it both ways and there is a company called Fundrise, which allows you to invest in many different kinds of REITs or REITs. And I personally put money into the platform two years ago. Now we're going to do a review to see how my money did. I put my money in there. I did not touch it. I just watched it every couple of months to see how it was doing, but I never took money out. I never added to it. I put my initial investment in and now we're going to see how it's performed. So if you're interested in using Fundrise, that is the platform, that is the company, well, this is a video that I think might be helpful for you because we are going to be doing a review on Fundrise for a two-year investment. This video is not sponsored by anyone. These are just my honest opinions. This is what happened to me personally. I'm just giving you a honest review regarding this company. And if you like investing content regarding the stock market, the cryptocurrency market, and other forms of investments, then please consider hitting that subscribe button, ringing that bell, and smashing that like button. But with all that being said, let's dive into the review. Let's do it. So it's been two years since I opened up a Fundrise account. I fund it with $1,500 sitting here at net returns to date of $378.88. On today's video, we are going to go over what this investing strategy includes. I'll also give you my overall opinions regarding Fundrise. Now, to be completely honest, what did I do? I put money in here and I just let it sit. I didn't really monitor it too much. Every six months, I might have went on here to check to see what was happening. But on today's video, we're going to show you all the things that Fundrise has to offer. And we'll also take a look at the performance of the portfolio since inception which is just over two years what you're looking at right now is the home screen this is basically an overview of your account you can see you can see the historic account value back in january i was around 1500 bucks and since then it's been a slow but steady climb upwards there aren't really any dips to the downside now the investment plan is supplemental income so a lot of this is going to be through fixed income, dividends, and other things. You can be a little bit more aggressive with your strategy, and maybe you would see some better returns, but you can also see more downside. It is also through this homepage, the overview, where you can see your news feed, and you can see some activities, some projects that are within your portfolio. For instance, my portfolio has acquired a new project, financing new home construction near Atlanta. You can read more about the project that you are partly invested in because this is crowdsource funding. You have a lot of people to fund a project and then you reap some of the benefits, you reap some of the rewards. For instance, one of the projects that I'm invested in through Fundrise is the acquisition and development of a 43.3 acre property in Covington, Georgia, roughly 40 minutes southeast of downtown Atlanta. And this fixed rate of return is roughly 9.5% annually. Moving on, if we take a look at the performance, we can see what REITs I'm invested in. These are real estate investment trusts. And we can see that we have a lot of different REITs or REITs, however you wanna pronounce it. I've heard it both ways. We have East Coast, 
Heartland Income West Coast Balance Income E Income E REIT 2019. There are different ones, and we can see what the quarterly performance for that REIT has been. We can also see that my portfolio is primarily fixed income, and I have a total of 113 active projects. Also included in the performance tab are your annual returns. Now, in 2020, I had 8% returns. In 2021, I had 14% returns. And year to date, it is just January 16th of 2022, I had 0.2% returns. All time, I'm averaging 11% returns in a given year. And as you can see, my net cash in is 1500 bucks. That is the total amount of money that I've put in this account. It actually started in 2019. And that's why you see a partial 2019 of 1.5%. Moving on, if you click on the portfolio, you will see what you're actually invested in currently. You can also scroll down here and you can see all of the projects that you are partly invested in. And a cool feature here is if you click on the map icon, it will show you a map of all your projects. I have 16 projects in Southern California, a bunch in Texas, some in Florida, around 15, nine in Georgia, some in the Carolinas, some in Virginia. They're all over the place, but mostly it's down south. A lot in California, Texas, and Florida. You can also look at your projects. If you, For instance, if we were to take a look at this stabilized apartments in the Woodlands, Texas, we can take a look at the details, and it's going to show us some of the key facts. This is a core plus strategy. The investment size is $26.7 million. It is currently active. There are market analysis. We can take a look at the capital stack. How is this actually being funded? And we can also take a look at a project timeline and periodically you will get project updates and you will be notified through an email and also through the notification tab up top as you can see my current notifications is that financing new home construction near Atlanta Georgia a rental home development in Houston Texas a quarter for 2021 dividend of $28.45 and so on so forth all of my projects when I have a new project I get notified when there's an update on a project I get notified when I get paid dividends I also get notified the transactions tab will tell you when you put more money into the portfolio and also when you get dividends paid out and when they're reinvested. The current strategy that I have right now is I reinvest all of my dividends. As you can see on January 11th, I was paid $28.45 and I reinvested all of that money in January 12th of 2022. That in a nutshell is what you can expect from Fundrise you can expect a very healthy return of around 10 to 11 percent. That is mostly in line with returns in the stock market. However, in the last two years, the stock market has outperformed that by almost 2x. We have seen more than 20 percent returns in, in the stock market. The S&P 500, the NASDAQ, and the Dow all have had great years, but that's not typical for the stock market to see 20 plus percent returns. Seeing 10% returns in something that is relatively low risk and also gives you exposure to a different realm of investments through real estate, I think is a nice little strategy. However, this does not come anywhere near the amount of returns if you actually bought and held real estate. 11% returns are returns and you're moving your money in the right direction. But if you were to actually invest in real estate, you would see a lot more returns. You also get additional leverage. When you invest in Fundrise, you are just getting 11% returns every single year. But when you close out of your portfolio, it's not like you have assets in real estate that you can physically sell and make money off of. That's one of the best things with real estate is you will get an annual return if you rent it out or whatnot. But then when you actually go to sell the property, you will get a return on that too if you hold it long enough. So my personal opinion on Fundrise, it's an easy way to start. It's a low risk. It helps you get into the real estate realm. But eventually, I think your goal should be to physically invest in real estate. Buy properties that you personally own. 
tangible assets. Rent them out, flip them, whatever the case may be. There are different investment strategies within real estate, but to actually acquire real estate down the road when you have the capital to do so, I think is much better than just piling a bunch of money into Fundrise. This is a good way to start, but it's not the end goal or it shouldn't be the end goal in my personal opinion. But that's not financial advice. That is just my personal opinion on how I see things. Now, let me know in the comment section down below if you've used Fundrise or if you're interested in investing in real estate. Me personally, I think that's the next route I'm going to take. I've made a good amount of money in the stock market that I'm ready to start buying some properties. At least that is my goal moving forward. I would like to diversify more with some physical real estate outside of my personal home. Now, before I sign off, I just want to let you know that this channel does have a Patreon. It's a huge way to support the channel. It's $5 a month. It gives you access to a Discord server, essentially a huge chat room of over 500 investors where we learn together, grow together, and make money together. It is through that Discord where I post all of the stocks that I'm buying and selling, all of my investments. Other members are also disclosing what they are buying and selling. A link to the Patreon is provided down below. I thank you all for your time. Hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, and smash that like button. I'll catch you all on the next video. It's been real. It's been fun. It's been real fun. And this is We Are Investing, and together we are invincible. See ya.